Well, up next on 12 on Health, pouring an ounce of prevention. What red wine can do to help men ward off a common form of cancer. Studies show a high percentage of men are likely to develop prostate cancer in their lifetimes, but one high-profile board-certified urologist says men can fight back now by making some major lifestyle changes known to help prevent the disease. Dr. Philippa Cheatham joins us now from Columbia University Medical Center, and Dr. Cheatham has a nonprofit called Society of Integrative Urology, and she co-hosts a show on WABC AM Radio in New York. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I don't know if it looks like we're at a farmer's <laughs> market or on safari. Dr. Cheatham, you said they call you the cheetah. They do, and I feel like I'm coming out of the jungle with all the green vegetables around us. Now, I know men are not known to go to the doctor when they should, but perhaps they'll listen to you on TV. Well, we, we'll try. We'll what do our they, best. We'll do what our do best. they need to be eating? Well, today I've brought along some of my favorites, and everything here is prostate cancer protective. So you may have heard about tomatoes, they're very rich in a chemical called lycopene, yes. which is a very powerful antioxidant. And there's been a lot of exciting research that tomatoes can prevent prostate cancer progression. And that doesn't catch up on a hot dog does not count. Not really, no. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a start, I suppose. Okay. Um, we also have flaxseed and flax oil. Now, there's been a lot of controversy about flax because we know that flax is very rich in omega-3, which okay. is great for the heart. There was some controversy to say that flax oils were dangerous, but the studies that said that were looking at lignans that came from beef. So the study yeah, was not relevant. it seemed like right after the study, the controversy was put to rest. Correct, and I mean, we still get patients asking the question, is flax meal okay, is flax oil okay? okay. The reason why these are so great is that it's so difficult to incorporate flax meal into your diet. If you say to a patient, just take flax, they don't know what to do. Okay. The great thing about the oils is you can put them on the salads, you can mm. make bread, you can make muffins, you can make smoothies with the flax meal, but you have to educate the patient okay. what to do about it. So the oil makes it a little easier to incorporate. They do, and there's sweet oils, there's savory oils, and so they add flavor because mm. guys like meat, they like barbecued meat, they like strong flavors. Mm. And so if you just give them the vegetables with no spices or flavors, that they perceive the diet to be very bland. Gotcha. So this is where this can really help. Okay. And a heart healthy diet is also a prostate healthy diet. Right. So, so they can uh, take care of both at sure. once. You've got a lot of greens here. We do. So the green leafy vegetables, what we call the crucifer vegetables, the cauliflower, the broccoli, the kale, the spinach, uh, broccoli, uh, the sprouts, uh, Brussels sprouts, these are very rich in isoflurane and the green leafy vegetables are great for the prostate. They're another form of antioxidant, so green leafy vegetables are the way forward. If you are a bit of a vegetable dodger <laughs> and you're struggling to get these in your diet, there is a broccoli seed extract, mm. that but you shouldn't really see that as a substitute. You want to try and have lots of fresh vegetables okay. and the broccoli seed extract as a booster. This is super potent. Oh, okay, super potent broccoli seed extract extract and you're saying supplements as well that's right so there's a lot of evidence to support vitamin d deficiency as being a risk factor for prostate cancer mm. and men who are deficient in vitamin d are more likely to have aggressive forms of prostate cancer so it's easy to measure it's easy to treat and these capsules are very 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 tiny they're very soft gel capsules okay. and you hold your hand there for a moment while we talk about them now when you do vitamin d you also need to do calcium no, not necessarily. Okay. I mean, you can get calcium from dairy, but with prostate cancer, we want to be careful with the amount of dairy that you're taking in the diet. Okay, so and limit your dairy? Correct. How uh, much? Well, it's difficult to say because it's all in moderation, but if you're going to take milk, try and take soy milk rather than cow's milk. Okay. Vitamin D and calcium is great for the bones, but what we're talking about today is vitamin D for your immune health to okay. boost all the natural cells that fight cancer. Okay, um, you have some pomegranate juice here. That's right, so pomegranate juice, um, the extract from pomegranate, also from any purple fruits, the grapes, cherries, black currants, 
all of these purple fruits are very rich in resveratrol and resveratrol is an antioxidant and the good news is okay. that red wine the pinot noir grape is extremely rich in resveratrol that grape in particular not just any red wine absolutely so if you're going to drink red wine go for the pinot noir all now right. all these are antioxidants the mushroom that there's a great ingredient called AHCC, mm -hmm. which boosts your immune system. This is from a species called the shiitake mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And these can really boost your immune system. This Those is, are great on the grill. They are, but this you don't get the benefit from eating just mushrooms raw like this. Mm -hmm. It's the mushroom extract. This is very highly processed ingredient. Oh. The AHCC is grown in a rice bran extract. So although we know that mushrooms do help boost your immune system in general, right. this is been very highly processed to really increase all those cells, the T cells, the macrophages, the cells in your immune system that okay. circulate looking for inflamed cells and cancer cells in the bloodstream and this will help They'll destroy scavenge. those. That's right. Nice. We have a break here but you also wanted to mention green tea. Absolutely. So Another antioxidant. Sure and it's not a coincidence that Japanese men who live in Japan have a very low rate of prostate cancer. They don't eat red meat which is yes. prostate cancer um, causing and also the Japanese green tea is a very potent antioxidant. Japanese men have it right. Thank you so much Dr. Pleasure. Cheatham. Pleasure.